Hey everybody, welcome to a very special video. Um, this is going to be the first video in a new series that I'm going to be doing called Ranked. It's where I um, rank filmographies based from uh, different actors as well as filmmakers. So um, I do have uh, an M. Night Shyamalan that I'm almost done with, uh, as well as uh, a Adam Sandler one, which will... Which is gonna take some time to do, <laughs> but um, this is uh the first one in the series, and it is the View of Universe from Kevin Smith, which is all the Jay and Silent Bob movies. So I will be doing the seven films from that uh, franchise. I will be doing Clerks, Clerks Two, Dogma, Chasing Amy, Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back, Mallrats, and Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. So, I'm going to go ahead and get this down. This will be a pretty involved video. So, let's just get to number seven. Jay and Silent Bob Reboot. Um, this is the most recent film from Kevin Smith, uh, as well as the most recent Jay and Silent Bob film. Uh, I know he has Clerks 3 on the way, as well as Mallrats 2, I believe. So... Um, I, this really, uh, was a big time for me just because I'm a pretty big Kevin Smith fan and, uh, I really wanted to get hyped for these movies. I believe, I could be wrong, but I believe that he said that Mallrats 2 and or Clerks 3 would be coming out this year. So with the, re with the, um, release of Jay and Silent Bob Reboot that I had been waiting for because I didn't get a chance to catch it in theaters while it was on tour, um, I was very excited to see this film and... You know, with it being on number seven, obviously it didn't deliver. Um, so I'm just going to get this out of the way. Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back is my least favorite film in the series besides this one. So I really don't have a whole lot to say this one. Um, he redid Jay and Silent Bob and he made it, again, not that good, if if anything, worse. Um, there were some things that I really liked about this film. Uh, there is a big uh, thing on... a Jason Mew's J character about his maturity and his character development that I really thought was, you know, a pretty pretty satisfying and positive feel. It was very pleasant to see him uh, go through this kind of area in his character's life, and I really liked the overall factor that it was uh, touching up on, but this, again, really didn't bring anything new. I didn't know that that was kind of the, that was kind of addressed upon release with this film, but I expected that I would at least bring us something that, you know, was really worth the wait, and then it really didn't do all that. Overall, I'm gonna give Jay and Silent Bob Reboot a three. While this movie is certainly a comedy, it's not in a genuinely funny way. It's got its moments, but. Altogether, Jay and Silent Bob Strikes Back doesn't come near whatsoever to recapturing the magic Kevin Smith had once brought with Clerks. The script is all over the place, for, for one thing, and to an overly ridiculous and kind of cringy extent, and the level that the film is, is on compared to previous Kevin Smith material just doesn't feel as warm as it once was. Although I will say this, while it still isn't quite the Silent Bob, that fully delivers, there is still a lot of fun with that character in the movie, and the movie still offers fun surprises to give an extra boost keeping up with the film. Also, I will say as well, Chris Rock in this movie, absolutely praiseworthy performance, man. Overall, I'm going to give Jay and Silent Bob Strike Back a 4. Mallrats has its moments, but not nearly as much as its predecessors. Also, the kid is back on the escalator again! I'm gonna give Mallrats a five and a half. Dogma is such a different film compared to the rest in the Askuniverse, but writing and story-wise particularly, some will say is Kevin Smith's at his best. I mean... For its length and it's hard and it's hard to devour humor and topics, they really make this film a challenge. And to a degree, I'd say that Kevin Smith passed. But overall, it just doesn't really stick well for me personally, at least. Uh, overall, like at the very end, um, it didn't really, you know, I didn't really take it with me. I didn't really grab the full 
feel of what Kevin Smith was going for, but I do recognize and notice a lot of the work that was put into this film. And again, a lot of it, for the most part, paid off. Overall, I'm going to give Dogma a 5. Clerks 2 offers the lovable Dante Hicks and Randall Graves duo with solid signature Kevin Smith flair and a nice attempt at a warm comedy story, but ultimately doesn't capture the magic that got its predecessor to the level it did. I am a big fan of Clerks number 1 to the point where I would say that it's one of my favorite comedies, but Clerks 2, and it, it is not a bad movie. It is very actually pretty damn good. It just didn't... I, I just don't think that it's quite one that I would recommend, but it did, for the most part, you know, get, get everything right as far as being a fresh film and everything. Uh, I really am rooting for Clerks 3. It has kind of been in development hell for a while, so just watching Clerks 1 to Clerks 2 and the passion put into particularly uh, Dante Hicks and Randall Graves' characters and their chemistry... I, I really hope that Kevin Smith can pull this off. It has been a while since the last Clerks movie, and there was quite a gap as well between the first and the second, so he could pull this off or he could not, but I really think that this could be what what uh, Kevin Smith is using as a comeback film, and I really hope, again, that he pulls it off. I'm very excited for a third movie, and overall, I'm going to give Clerks 2 a 6. Chasing Amy is an absolute gem, and is easily Kevin Smith's most important and mature film to date. The film doesn't drag, and for its runtime and its humor, and for its time as well, and as well as early on into Smith's career, there are these are just some of the reasons why you should see this movie, and why and why Kevin Smith was such a big deal. Also, it's worth noting Jason Lee and Ben Affleck and Joey Lauren Adams steal the show even with all of jason lee's shittiness <laughs> and one last thing that scene that scene the one between affleck and adams about an hour in where they're in the car this scene absolutely stole the film for me this scene wrecked me and it was one of the biggest reasons why i revisit the film as much as i do and Ben Affleck's performance in that scene alone displays and offers so much and is probably one of the best scenes Smith has ever written. I'm going to give Chasing Amy a 7. Kevin Smith's Clerks. This is one of my favorite comedies of all time, as well as my favorite Kevin Smith movie, period. The movie is already, without a doubt, a great film, but with... Having that kind of personal experience in working retail, this movie definitely goes beyond what it could with, I mean, with, with, with me as a regular viewer. Um, the amount of reality and cynical kind of humor that is put into this film is enough to, again, really make it a fucking cult film. I mean, this is so much different than your average comedy and especially your average kind of indie film. I believe Kevin Smith was 23, 24, something like that when he made this film, and he was actually working that job, and that just makes it so much more important, more precious, because, again, it's not that it's like a real story, it's just this is his life, this is what he does, and he knew exactly what he was going for, and there was a reason why this is one of his first films and why he put so much work into it as you know a filmmaker on the rise. This movie is an absolute classic, and I give Clerks an 8. Everybody, thank you so much for checking out this video. Um, this was a video that I've been planning to do for quite a bit, as well as many others in the ranked series that I'm going to be putting out in the future. Um, let me know who else you want me to, uh, to do this with. Um, I know, again, that I am working on M. Night Shyamalan as well as Adam Sandler. I have a few others that will come further on that I haven't even started with yet, but um, let me know what you guys would like to see. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed this this uh, series. Uh, Kevin Smith has a lot of 
great films. He has a lot of good signature flair, and I really am excited to see films such as Clerks 3 and Mallrats 2, giving that they do get, you know, made and everything. Um, definitely check out Clerks, the Clerks films, as well as Chasing Amy. Those are, in my opinion, his best movies, but, I mean, really, besides Jay and Silent Bob Reboot, his films in the in this franchise are are, are are okay, you know? They have, they all have plenty that they, you know, show and that they, that they are unique for, but, yeah, let me let me know what uh, what your guys' lists are, what you guys think about these films, and where they stand with your guys' opinion. I hope that you guys made it to the end of this video, and if you did, I really appreciate it. Um, let me know again what videos you would like me to do next. Well, this has been my first video in the rank series, and I hope you guys have a great day. This video was a lot of fun to do, and I look forward to making more for you guys. Take care.